Hey, what's going on? It's Bill Burr, and it's time for the Thursday afternoon, just before Friday, Monday morning podcast. And ah, I'm just checking in on you. I'm just checking in on you like a friend, like a pal, just calling to say hello. You know what I mean? You know when somebody calls just to say, air quote, hello, and you know, as much as you're sitting there going, oh, you want to believe it. Oh, this is so nice. He's just saying hello. The thing is the first seven minutes, the first seven minutes, you got to be on pins and needles. Like, when's it coming? When's it coming? When's the favor going to be asked? I never hear from this motherfucker. And now he's called. Hey, just called to say what's going on. Blah, 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 blah. And they wind their fucking way around. They do si you around the room. You're like, wow, isn't this nice? He just called to say hello. He's really asking me how I'm doing and my wife are doing. And then all of a sudden, here it comes. Oh, that's great. You know, interesting you should say that because, dude, I could use about, I could use about two grand. You know, I know it's a lot. I'm embarrassed to even ask you, but like, I just, you know, I hit a little bit of a rough patch. I'll get it back to you probably by the end of the month or maybe never worst case scenario. I'll never bring it up again, but when you do, I'll make it seem like you're the asshole. Like, really? You're going to do this now? You're going to do this now in front of my family? They're not here, dude. They left you years ago. Oh, then you're going to bring that up? You know, one of those fucking guys, no matter what you do, somehow you're the douche. Somehow you're the one at fault. You know how that works. People, you know, they, they don't take responsibility for themselves. Like me, you know? I'm a fucking pillar of this community. <laughs> That's when you know it's time to move. If I'm saying that type of shit, you live anywhere near me. Um, so guess what? Um, my old ass kitchen, my old ass fucking kitchen is. Uh, they started to work on it today. So we rented a small house around the corner because last time, long time listeners, you know, we fucking ended up getting like smoker coughs. You can't live in a house where they're doing demolition. You just can't. I've done it twice. I did it once in New York. Um, once again, I was put in a kitchen and it was the ugly. Um, the kitchen I had was the ugliest fucking kitchen you've ever seen in your life. The cabinets were like this. Um, you know, like when, when they try to have like the flesh color of a, of a slightly less pasty person than me. You know that color? It's not white. It's not peach. It's not tan. It's just that fucking color. It was that color. Counters and cabinets. And then it was a dark brown outline on the cabinets with that. Fu- it was like, you know, when they make a doll and it's supposed to be a Caucasian doll, like back in the day. You remember that? Fuck. It was that. fuck. Oh, that's perfect. Minus the rosy cheeks. It was that color. Right. Like the color of the thing's fucking foot. I had a doll foot colored kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> was shit brown. And I mean shit brown. You know, shit fucking brown. Jesus Christ, you're an animal. Shit brown outline around the cabinet. And then I had this fucking stove that, like, I swear to God, was from, like, the Serpico era of New York. Um, And I want to say the walls were yellow. Like, it used to be a sun yellow, and then that basically over the years faded into your dreams have died, and this is your lot in life yellow. Um, and, you know, I could barely afford to get the kitchen done, so I had to be there, and I was in a one-bedroom apartment, and they did the ceiling-to-floor fucking plastic shit. It, I mean, it gets most of it, but the rest of it goes right into your fucking lungs. I mean, it just took for fucking ever, and... um uh, but when it was done, it was the shit. When it was finally fucking done. But I remember, you know what they forgot to do? They forgot to give me a little place to put a wastebasket. And they were like, oh, fuck. And then they just jerry-rigged this fucking horse shit that never made sense. I never even used it. And I lost a little cabinet space, which is crucial in any kitchen. Forget about when you got a little ass fucking one-bedroom apartment in New York. So the next time I did anything, you know, left New York... Sold the old digs, came out here, you know, went back to rent and then got a fucking house. And we did the whole downstairs, which turned into a fucking nightmare because uh, my house is uh, 93 years old at this point. 
Um, so we had all kinds of cloth wiring. We had all kinds of galvanized pipe. We had a gas leak. We just, every fuck, we, at one point there were rodents in the wall. So when we took the wall out, there was a bunch of rodent shits in the wall. You know? When they listed that thing and I went to buy it, they, did, they didn't say that. They, 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 they didn't disclose that. You don't have to disclose to the prospective buyer that, oh, by the way, we had some sort of mouse or rat problem. And they ate through the fucking walls and they shit wherever they wanted to shit. And it was just, it, it was li- literally a shit show. So that took a fucking year to undo the, the whole downstairs was completely fucked up, not up to code. Now that took the whole fucking year to get that fixed. So now that's fixed. So, and then upstairs, the fucking, uh, the floors were warped. I mean, if you put a marble on my floor, it would roll as fast as that thing that chased Indiana Jones. Like that's how fucking warped they were, that giant fucking ball, you know? Um, by the way, that's the only sci-fi type movie I could handle because, you know, it was weird. It was like science fiction, but it was like back in the day, you know? So there was still like people, there weren't people walking around with like fucking pointy ears and, uh, you know, grabbing you by your fucking scapula and then you, for some reason, pass out, even though it makes no fucking sense whatsoever. No, oh, it's a Vulcan nerve. What, what, I mean, there's nerves everywhere. What, what exactly is there? The fuck is that dude's name? Spock, right? Did he have a last name? Or was that not logical? You fucking douche. With your Mo from the Three Stooges haircut. You're not fooling anybody, right? You diva fucking eyebrows. That dude was a fraud. Um, anyways, the fuck? I started talking about Spock. No, I'm getting my fucking uh, kitchen. So today, today was a big day. So we moved into the little fucking small place, right? And, uh... You know, just grab clothes and shit. You know, that's it. Bottle of booze. I hate to say that I actually packed up a bottle of booze. I mean, Bill, how many fucking red flags do you need to see? Um, <laughs> I took that thing with me like, ooh, ooh, I got to bring that like I forgot my checkbook. Um, I got to tell you, it was delicious. Delicious. A little bourbon called Yippie Kaye. Not motherfucker for all you Dive Hard fans, just yippee kaye. Might be a whiskey. I don't even know. All I know is when you pour it into the glass, you, you can't put a fucking ice cube in it because it's just that fucking beautiful. It would be, it would, it would be absolutely sacrilegious. Um, yeah, my wife's fucking text calling me right now. What is the problem? What is the problem? I heard you pull up. I can't figure out the keys. You, I, I sense that you're laying down enjoying yourself. Is there any way you could get up and not be relaxed? All right, here we go. Doing podcast. Oh, then I can't do that. That's too blunt. What's up? All right, all right. What's up? What should I go with? Cutie? Let's go with Sweetie. Sweetie Pie? Is that too much? Is that too pandering? We're going to go with Sweetie. Question mark. No emoji. Emojis for uh, for fucking boys. All right? Real men don't emoji. All right? They take their big fucking deviled egg eating thumbs and they try to, they, they, they do the best they can. I use emojis. My favorite thing to do is to use emojis with another man who fucking for some reason will get like homophobic if you send him one. You know? And once you sense that on him, you just keep sending more and more emojis and you gradually build your way up to that the, the little fucking smiley face that's blowing the kiss that's a little hard, you know? <laughs> um, anyway, so we fucking, um, where? Guest house? No, no, what the fuck? What are you talking about? Oh, Jesus Christ. What, what the fuck does it matter where the fuck I'm doing it? Guest house? You mean garage? They're always trying to fucking hook shit up. No, fucking downstairs. She's out in the driveway. All right. Anyways, um, plowing ahead. Why, why, why would you answer it, Bill? Why would you answer it? When am I going to learn that? You just don't fucking answer it. And then they'll be like, where were you? What were you doing? You see him, and then you just get it all out. And it's so easy to, much easier to say it than to fry Try to fucking text it. Forget about that whole voice message thing. It always ends up fucking something up. Especially pronouns, so it never makes any sense. That and there. 
Or maybe I'm a mumbling jackass. I'll tell you right now who could not voice text is Shannon Sharp. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't know who's harder to understand him. It, it, understand is him or that fucking guy who picked me up in Scotland. Bull. Bull. Hey, Bull. Bull. Willem. You put four bullets, Willem. Okay, I, you're looking at me. I don't know what. Are you literally talking to me? Yep, I'll fall below Willem. <laughs>